Well, good evening everyone. How are you? I hope that I find you all very well indeed. And indeed, a warm welcome back to What's For Tea for another week of family meals. Or if you're new, a warm welcome to you also. This is What's For Tea and my name is Cheryl. And like I just said, this is just the week of family meals from the previous week. So I do these every week. I might do a shopping haul or a recipe, all sorts of different things. So if you like these kind of videos, why not subscribe before you leave? And also, so if you are a subscriber, if you just check down below, there's a wee bell. If you click that as well, I mean, you'll get notified whenever I post a wee video because there are a few of you saying that you haven't been getting notified when my videos come out. So if you don't mind, if you just pop down, click on the wee bell and you will get notified that way. So yeah, so let's go and move on and see what I made for the family meals for this week. Starting off on Monday, it was a bit of a mixed day. Me and Mr. What's For Tea had this smoked sausage stir fry. You've got noodles in there, bean sprouts, cabbage, broccoli, onions, carrots, water chestnuts, bamboo shoots, you name it, it's in there. Soy sauce, Chinese five spice and the smoked sausage. The girls didn't fancy that, so they had baked potatoes. So a couple of jacket tatties with some butter, tuna mayo, a wee bit of grated cheddar over the top, some mixed peppers and some parsley. And when I actually put this out, I thought, I think I'd rather be doing with this actually than the stir fry. And I do love a baked potato. So yeah, so that was Monday. Moving on to Tuesday, you'll see me making this every week. Everyone in the house loves this, so I never have to make any sort of different meals. So this is the steak and cheese pasta bake that we do have every week. And I'll leave the recipe for this down below. So this is made with minced beef, but this is just as nice made with corn mince as well. So moving on to Wednesday, and you'll have seen this already if you watched the recipe. Again, I'll leave this down below just in case you missed it or want to see it. So this was my slow cooker scouse, which is basically a stew. with a couple of bread rolls and I had some pickled cabbage on the side. Moving on to Thursday, and these were the wee frozen pies that I got in my Aldi shop a couple of weeks ago. So I had some chips and these were the pies and we just did baked beans and do you know what, we will not be getting these again. They were not very nice and I make a lot of my own pies and they just do not compare to these wee frozen things. So yeah, I'll not be getting them again. <laughs> Moving on to Friday, and um, we had some roast chicken. Now this was the, the one that I got in Aldi in the bag. First time I've ever got it. We had some baby new potatoes, some mashed turnips, some carrots and peas, and some gravy as well from, you know, made with the juices of the chicken. So I don't like the skin on, so I took the skin off of mine. And the girls like the wings and the legs and that kind of thing. So it works out well for us. This is just the skin, the, the one with no skin, sorry. Everything else is just the same. But yeah, it was okay. I don't think I'd rush out and get it again. I mean, it was ultra convenient. You just cook it in the bag, you know, for an hour and 40 minutes. You don't have to do anything else to it. That's it there. It was £3.79 from Aldi. Just pop it into the oven, like I said, in the bag. When it's ready, just cut it out of the bag and that's it done. But we did find it quite dry. And for all the herbs and garlic and everything that was on there, I didn't find it all that tasty. Very bizarre. So I think you're probably just better getting your own wee chicken and, you know, putting on some herbs and garlic butter, you know, and I just find that, I find that a bit tastier actually, but it did produce some wonderful stock, which you can see there. I used the, that one in the jug there to make the gravy up, but I actually had a pint and a half left over, which I'm going to make into a soup. So lots of lovely stock. And this was everything else waiting to go out. And moving on to Saturday, and I just made a garlic and chilli and sun-dried tomato pasta. Well, me and Mr. What's For Tea had this with some garlic bread. And this was lovely. I popped some corn pieces in that as well. The girls didn't fancy that, so they had beef ravioli. Now, I've had this in the freezer for a couple of weeks as well, and that's just the same sauce as the pasta before, with some parmesan and again with some garlic bread. And moving on till today, and I just made cottage pie. So I got some minced beef from the butcher. So we had a cottage pie with broccoli, and that's the cottage pie there. And I just put some peas on the side as well. We do love our veggies, and half our plate is normally veg. <laughs> it's good for you though. 
and this is it just out of the oven and again I'll leave the recipe for this in the description box down below. So before I move on to the comments I just wanted to say there will be a giveaway announcement on my, my next recipe which will be Wednesday or Thursday and it's going to be international so if you're interested in the giveaway make sure to tune in to next week's recipe which is going to be the chocolate orange trifle and that's going to kick off my festive food series for this year. So yeah, let's go and read some of your comments from the previous week's videos. The first one is from our friend Gary Boyd and he th said, thank goodness the carrots were not wonky. I've been up all night worried about that. Well, Gary, rest easy. These were not the wonky carrots, but thank you very much for your comment. The next one is from Mike and he's written, great haul, especially the price you paid. I could eat that steak pie right now all by itself for breakfast, haha. <laughs> well, I'm exactly the same, Mike, and I think I actually wrote that in the comment. You know, some people say, oh, I couldn't eat this in the morning or I couldn't eat that in the morning. Do you know, I'm just one of these folk who just eat anything at any time. I think a lot of people are like that though, so yeah. So thank you very much for your comment. The next comment is from Charlotte and she's written, don't you ever have square sliced sausage or don't you like them? Oh no, we do. We absolutely love square sausage. In fact, I actually done a video recipe for square sausage uh, a good few months ago now, which was actually quite popular. But we tend to have square sausage in the morning as a breakfast type thing or a lunch maybe on a roll or on a sandwich. It's not something we would have for a dinner. But my mother used to make something called stewed sausage, which was for dinner. And she used to put in the, the saucepan the square sausage, carrots, onions, gravy, and sort of let that all stew away. And we would have that with maybe mashed potatoes or whole potatoes. And that's what she would call uh, stewed sausage. So if I was at school or going to school and said, what's for tea tonight? And she would say, stewed sausage. I'd think, oh no, <laughs> it wasn't a favourite and not something I've made ever since. So yeah, so thank you very much for your comment. And if you do like square sausage, mind to check out my wee square sausage recipe. And I'll leave that in the description box down below, just in case you want to check it out. The next comment's from Sonia and she's written, Great grocery haul as always. That steak pie looks good. Have you ever watched Still Game? When I saw the steak pie, it reminded me of an episode I saw. Oh yeah, Sonia, we used to watch, you know, we watched every single one of them. You know, they were quite, it went on for years. And if you don't know what Still Game is, it's basically a sort of comedy set around Glasgow. It was based around um, elderly characters, although they were in real life, they were actually middle-aged, but in the, the, their characters were elderly and it was so, so funny. Highly recommend it if you can get a hold of it, you know, it's absolutely brilliant. But I think you'd probably have to be Scottish or understand Scottish humour before you would appreciate it properly. So to answer your question, Sonia, yeah, we absolutely loved Still Game and didn't miss an episode. So thank you very much for your comment. Lovely to see you. Next comment is from Nadia and she's written, Hi, hope you're well. Been loving all the food lately. I was just wondering if you'd had a slow cooker and if you do, have you got any all-in-one meals? You just chuck everything in and let it cook and your meal is done. Thanks. Well, yeah, Nadia, I've actually got a playlist with, uh, you know, just slow cooker meals. We absolutely love the slow cooker. It's ever so handy. In fact, the other day, I just done a slow cooker scouse, which you might be interested in. So just pop back and have a wee look at that. And if you want to have a look at my playlist, just go to my channel and click on playlists and you'll find a drop down box and in there somewhere you will find a slow cooker playlist with all of the slow cooker recipes that I've done so far. I've obviously got many, many more, but there are only so many hours in a week, so I'll get around to them all eventually. And I hope you're well, Nadia. I haven't seen you for a wee while, so I hope you're on the mend. So thank you very much for your comment. It's lovely to see you again. The next comment is from David and he's written, Hi Cheryl, we regularly have the little roast in a bag chicken. We prefer the one with stuffing. They are first class and very easy. You just have to be careful not to spill any liquid which has run over the tree and into the bag when moving it to carve. Well, David, I must try the little one because it was Aldi, the, you know, where I get my one from. And we weren't actually bowled over by it. I found it, well, we all found it a bit dry. And for all the herbs and garlic and butter and things that were in there, we didn't find it that tasty. You know, I find my own sort of roast chicken, sometimes I add herbs and garlic butter and different things is far, far tastier. And just as easy, if I'm being honest, you know, it was super easy just to pop the bag into the oven. But then it's just as easy 
easy to pop your own chicken into the oven, isn't it? But yeah, so I must try the little one that you're talking about because the Aldi one we weren't that impressed with, you know, is excellent value for money though. I think it was £3.79 and it is super easy to make so I'll definitely need to try the little one for sure and for the juices I just lifted the chicken out of the tree popped it onto a plate and then sort of drained that wee tree into a jug you know so it, it was quite messy though <laughs> I'll agree with you there but thank you very much for your comment David lovely to see you and your last comment this week is from Rachel and she's written, where can I buy a cheap slow cooker? Well, you know, there are so many of them out there, but the one I use, I've used the same Morphe slow cook, Morphe Richards slow cooker for years and years. The first one I got from Argos, I think it was about £20, but the last one I bought actually, fit the, the one I had broke, so I had to replace it, but I wanted the same one. So we go to charity shops quite a lot and I was in a chat, I think it was Cancer Research, charity shop and I seen one and it was in the box and in the bags and you know it was brand new it'd been untouched and it was only five pounds so if you look around you can really pick up a bargain and they do last for years in the years I mean the one I had previous I just completely burnt out <laughs> you know it'd been used so much but yeah you can pick them up fairly cheaply or even places like ebay or you know if you go if you use facebook there are usual local groups on there you know people selling things so yeah definitely keep your eyes peeled you should be able to pick one up relatively cheap but if you do want a brand new one i would recommend argos because they tend to be the cheaper ones you know you can pick up one around 15 or 20 pounds on there i believe so yeah so thank you for your comment rachel and again it's lovely to see you Oh, there's Lazy Jasper there. <laughs> so that was our meals for this week, guys, and a wee selection of your comments from during the week. And like I said before, mind to check out the giveaway next Wednesday or Thursday for it will be within one of my recipes next week. So mind to keep your eyes peeled for that if you're interested in entering that giveaway. It'll be my wee Christmas giveaway. I'll leave it open until a couple of weeks before Christmas, just so that you've got it in plenty of time for Christmas. So all I'm going to say is thank you ever so much guys again for coming over and checking out my wee video this week and I'll be back during the week as I said Wednesday or Thursday with my festive chocolate and orange trifle and details of that giveaway. So I'm going to leave you now and I'll leave you with um, a lot of people have been asking what this music is. It's Goddesses of Bagpipes and the track is Shipping to Boston and Enter Sandman, which you're going to hear in a wee second as the background music to a wee charity bike ride that we've done in the summer. So if you keep your eyes peeled, you'll see me and Mr. Watts for Tea about a minute into the video. So I'll leave you with that. So until I see you next, take care. <laughs>